so I'm supposed to believe that's her mom. That looks like a 25 year old. Like there's no way that's her mom. Her sister, fine. Her mom, Netflix, you can do better. But again, you wouldn't have hired an influencer to be your leading actress in your movie. How do some girls do this type of hairstyles without looking fine? Oh god. Why did I thought this hairstyle was okay? Now, before you watch this video and think that I'm an Addison fan or whatever, I'm really not. <laughs> I don't care about her. Seriously. I'm just someone on the internet with nothing better to do than to talk to a camera and share my opinion on this platform. And since people have a lot to say about Addison Ray and this movie before it was even out, I decided to jump on the train and do the same, but without the unnecessary hate. Hi, my name is Sofia. I make videos about teen dramas, characters, whatever that I want to talk about. I'll just make a video about it. Before I talk about the movie, I feel necessary to give some background on who these Addison Ray person is and why does the internet seem not to like her very much? Alison Ray is a 20 year old Libra from Louisiana. I'm Anthony Mackie, I'm a Libra. <laughs> Doing TikTok has fun but soon she started getting a lot of views and she went to university to study broadcast journalism but dropped out to focus more on TikTok um and as you do when you start getting um famous on the internet you absolutely have to move to la i mean we've heard this story before emma chamberlain and just everybody else like just part of the influencer road she joined the hype house which i don't think she's a part of it anymore is this still a thing i just i, I don't know and she dated bryce hall I don't know what it is about the internet when usually a girl, but anybody, starts getting famous with this YouTube on Emma Chamberlain's case. Is it Chamberlain? Chamberlain? Cham Chamberlain? Chamberlain? Um, or TikTok on Addison and Charlie D'Amelio's case. People love you. Like, as you're growing up, like, people love you because, oh my God, why don't you have that many views? And you're so amazing. I love you. And you start getting progressively, you know, popular. Once everybody knows who they are and they reach that million followers, subscribers, people start hating on them, calling them overhyped. Um, why does anybody like them? They're so annoying, blah, blah, blah. And that usually lasts for like two years, or at least that's kind of what it lasted for Emma. After those two years is gone, people are like, you know what? She didn't deserve the hate. You know what? She's not that bad. Why were we hating her so much? We were so harsh on this individual. Which is exactly what's happening to Emma Chamberlain. She was getting hate for literally everything since like 2018, I think. Um, because she wasn't the same person anymore. Because whatever because she started getting opportunities that people didn't think she deserved and then her not showering jokes i mean are they jokes is she jake gyllenhaal is she trying to follow the footsteps of jake gyllenhaal please i hope not that got to a point where it was annoying and downright bullying her and um what am i talking about emma chamberlain Okay, so let's get back to Addison Ray. <laughs> I don't understand why people hate Addison so much. As far as I'm concerned, and I also didn't dig that deep because I don't really care. Like, this is a very surface level type of research because, girl, I don't care. <laughs> she hasn't done anything that bad to be worth the amount of hate she received daily. I mean, 
she could have kept the whole i just wanted to say hi to the shadow man to herself and just I, she could have kept that to herself like we, we we really didn't need to know um that she likes the shadow man and this she desperately wanted to say hi like you could have kept that to yourself i know that she has not been exactly a nice human being and has said some, some words that are she she has been racist before that's what i'm trying to say and that's not okay it's, i mean she has apologized not my apology to take if black people don't want to accept her apology it's in their right to do so so i'm not trying to say that she has never done anything problematic because she probably has you have probably said so many stupid things what i'm saying is like receiving not hate but criticism because you said the n-word is an understandable criticism and reason not to support her and reason to not like her and also being so excited to meet the shadow man is an understandably good reason for you not to like her but i mean people getting mad at her for making a joke about studying broadcast journalism for three months and getting an opportunity that she obviously got and i'm pretty sure she's aware of it that she obviously got because of her fame and not her credentials because she doesn't have any credentials as a journalist i know it was a bad joke like the joke did not land people are taking it way too personal and just started hate like it was unnecessary Sh shut the fuck up <laughs> learn to take a joke please like you're just hating for hating another reason she might be getting a lot of hate and this is where i can see i can understand um is that she's like everywhere you know the opportunities that she receives that people feel like she shouldn't be even getting those type of uh, opportunities like first off she started singing she dropped a song obsessed it's not exactly a bad song it's quite catchy <laughs> and people just didn't like that but the thing is, she did that, she dropped one song and now she's trying to be an actress, which I found a video where she said that acting is like her dream job or whatever. So, okay, maybe that's what she truly wants to do. Um, but, you know, her getting the lead role when she doesn't have any previous acting jobs, like I, it doesn't sit right for me. So yeah, that's another big reason why people don't like her because she's taken so many opportunities but at the same time like i can't really hate her for because that's what you do when you started like you you grow so big on social media basically overnight you gotta find a way to you know continue making money to expand yourself you're not gonna be a tiktok forever which is why so many tiktokers go to youtube you have to try out other things and that's what she's doing she's trying out singing Oh, she doesn't like singing voice. Now she's trying out acting and we'll see where she's gonna go from there. I don't think that's bad. Like, I don't know. I'm a 21 year old, like I'm the same age as her and I'm someone that every year I have a new hobby. I have a new interest. Nothing is quite constant in my life. So I see myself reflected on her and I just hate when people are just hating her because she's like, you know, everywhere and trying out everything. I mean, it's annoying, but I don't think it's a reason to hate her. So now let's finally talk about the movie because I feel so weird spending so much time talking about Alison Ray and kind of defending her for nothing. The movie is about an influencer specializing in makeovers who bets she can transform a popular classmate into prom king in this remake of teen classic She's All That. Now, I'm gonna be fucking honest, I've never seen She's All That. And I'm a big fan of chick films, of like rom-coms, I love 10 Things I Hear About You, Clueless, The Breakfast Club, but I've never seen this one. And if I want to be completely honest, I've also never seen She's the Man. Unless you count watching Dylan is in Trouble movie commentary on that movie, then I have seen the movie. The movie is um, not great, <laughs> but did I expect it to be any good? I feel like if you did expect the movie to be good, you were setting yourself for a big disappointment. But I don't think the movie had any chance because remakes are usually not good and tend to be a disaster. Plus hiring an influencer we know acting and resume isn't exactly going to help her case. So they settled themselves for failure. 
I feel like something we need to understand is why exactly is it a bad movie? Is it because of bad actors? Is it because of bad screenplay? What exactly is it? According to industrialscripts.com, a screenplay or script is a written work by screenwriters for a film, television program or video game. The screenplay acts as the blueprint for all involved in a production. Is the building plan the key layout of how everything will come together? In other words, the screenplay is crucial and can make a movie either bad or good. No matter how good the actors are or how talented the director is, if the screenplay is poorly written, the movie will be a disaster. Now, in this case, I believe it's a combination of both. I don't think Addison is a great actress, but it's her first role. I'm pretty sure that any of these big, you know, actors, first role was probably not their greatest and was probably quite cringe. So I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt if she truly wants to go down the acting path um, when hiring an acting coach and putting a lot of effort and actually working to be better, I think she can be a decent actress. But I really don't think she was that bad. I mean, like she was, like she was bad, but not horrible. Like I feel like she's just okay. Yeah, you're not good, but you could be if you wanted to. Like if you work for it. There's a lot of overreacting that really made the movie very cringe. But the script was. Ugh. Like, I feel like the, we can't just blame how bad the movie was on Addison Ray not being an actress. Like, we can't do that because the script was just so bad. Like, we have Madison Pettis in the movie, who's an experienced actor, and the fact that she's a side character. Who make the casting choices? Because I have to talk. How are you going to give the little role to an influencer with no acting background and to the actual actress, you're going to give her a side role? Even though she's an experienced actor, like, you know, we know she can act, she still made me cringe a lot. So I'm going to blame the script on why this movie sucks. I mean, the whole premise of the movie, I can't believe I'm trash talking this movie while looking like a fucking five year old. Like, I look like the actual demographic for this movie. The whole premise of the movie, I feel like I've seen it way too many times in DCOMs, in Shana original movies, in case you don't know technical terms. Mm -hmm. I am that smart. Definitely a kid's movie that no one over the age of 11 actually enjoys. Actually, I want to test that out. I want to see if my 11 year old sister would actually enjoy this movie. I mean, oh my God, I, I have to talk. This is a side note because I feel like I need a break for talking about how bad this movie is. So I'm forcing my little sister to watch, you know, the good old Disney Channel, Hannah Montana, The Wizard of Worldly Place, you know, That's So Raven. And she actually enjoys them. She actually does. And the other day she kind of, um, she already finished Hannah Montana, you know, all the good shows. And she's like, give me another recommendation. I said, well, Lizzie McGuire. She didn't even made it two minutes into the show. She hated it. So if any of you would like an 11 year old um, girl, hit me up. Um, she doesn't eat that much. She, she's quite annoying, but she's a lovely girl. You're gonna love her. She only speaks Spanish though, but I'm pretty sure she can learn. I'm so glad my parents don't speak English. I mean, my dad is, understands a little bit, but I'm pretty sure he's not gonna watch this video. Me trying to sell out my little sister. I mean, I'm not even trying to sell her. Like, hey, adopting, it's, she, she, she's for free. I'm kidding. Hi sis, if you're watching, I love you. Or if you're listening. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the subject. A movie about the popular girl, influencer in this case, falling for the nerdy guy, who she was using him for her own selfish reasons, but fell in love in the process. Then the mean girl, quite a bitch, exposes the popular girl's true intentions. She attempts to apologize 
to the guy but he's hurt and somehow he forgives her even knowing she didn't see him as a human being but a project to gain followers and a sense of accomplishment mm -hmm. i didn't bother to learn any names so bear with me Alison's character is so annoying i believe i compare her to james charles crazy thought right um i'm like i don't know five minutes in or something and why do all influencers speak the same addison ray right now she just sounded like jane charles like same thing and i go hey. five minutes later now why did i say that addison ray looks like james charles because now i cannot see it Like, I'm actually crying because now I can't unsee it. And I, that's just something that I don't want to see. I still have an hour left of this movie. And it, it's really hard because she's smiling a lot, just like James Charles. And I have this at 1.5 speed. So she's talking really fast, just like James Charles. And I just, why do I do this to myself? I'm so sorry, Addy. I try not to. A self-centered girl who only cares about her followers, looks and her all-night presence, she pretends to live in a mansion. She pretends to have a life that she doesn't have. She, she's pretending to be Hannah Montana. That's what she's doing. Because she's embarrassed that she doesn't have as much money or nice things as the rest of her classmates. A skate boy who isn't exactly a skate boy but this dude looks like sit from skins um i hate how movies hire a very attractive actor and puts them in non-conventional like beauty standards like bad dressed long hair in the guy's case sometimes glasses or curly hair no makeup in the girl's case to try and convince us that they're not attractive and have this huge makeover when everybody in the movie is like wow he's hot like he was hot before honestly take away the vini and maybe put him in nicer clothes he was hotter in my opinion or maybe i'm just a girl that likes guys with long hair i mean that might explain why i have a crush on timothy chamele I need to let that go. Fucking Addy's character thinks she did something. It's like, girl, all you did was cut his hair and put it back and give him night clothes. Like, this isn't how do I look. You didn't do anything revolutionary. Like, God, like, don't take credit for it. You did nothing. <laughs> Madison Pettis' character pissed me off. Like, she was a fake friend who planned for Addy to see her boyfriend cheating and Lady dated him like she was just a fucking snake who only cared for herself or her high school fame and never truly cared for Addy or anyone just a bitch and Madison played that character to a perfection because I truly wanted to punch her <laughs> the girl meets war boy oh boy what happened to that man <laughs> Does a girl meets war dude? Man, that Disney money. He ran out of that Disney money, didn't he? God. The fact that I thought he was cute. The fact that both Maya and Riley had a crush on him. Oh God, this is embarrassing. <laughs> Looks like a fucking tiktoker that i just want to punch an f boy like he's such a douche that i just want to punch him every time he was on my screen oh my god i just had a realization he oh my god he reminds me of bryce hall who dated addison and he's also a douche Okay, no. 
we're moving on. Why is Kourtney Kardashian in this movie? Like, what was the point of her being in the movie and like on her bicycle and like trying to talk to um, Addy while she's on the bicycle? Like, yes, girl, what's up? I just saw you going viral and like losing followers because of your bubble booker. Um, yeah, we can be friends anymore. Um, bye. Like, she cannot act. She's like the only thing worse than Addison in this movie. Like, oh my God. Why is she on this movie? I can't, why? Oh my God, okay. This movie, it's so bad. I knew it was bad, but it's so bad. And we haven't even talked about the dancing. So they include, they incorporate the TikTok dances into this movie. I mean, I think this movie was like sponsored by TikTok because um, like the TikTok logo pop up a few times during the movie, so weird. But oh my God, here's the thing, like I don't mind like if the movie was about dancing, like I wouldn't mind if it were actually good dancing, like the one in High School Musical, the bitch movie. Why am I only naming decoms? I don't understand. But you know what I'm trying to say? Like if it's actually good dancing, fine, no problem. But the dancing from TikTok, I do have a problem with it. And I also want to talk about this clip that has been going viral on Twitter and that people are completely turning it apart, which is Addison Rae karaoke to Katy Perry Teenage Dream. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I skipped that part of the movie. Every time they would dance in the movie, I just skip it because I was like, I'm not dealing with this. I feel like the producers did her dirty in that specific scene. I don't think she's a bad singer. I'm not saying she's a great singer, but I don't think she's that bad. And they really, you know, did her dirty when choosing Teenage Dream. Like they could have picked any other song that could have fitted her vocal range. Is that what music technicians use? I'm trying to sound smart. When I am smart, I just, I'm not that smart. Like another song would have fitted better. So I feel like they just did her dirty and now everybody is like completely mocking that a specific scene and the dancing doesn't make it any better she had to sing and dance and my guy dude you cannot possibly be attracted to oh my god dude they're doing this young royals willem looking at omar while he's singing and falling in love type of scene when um seat from skins um cameron i think looking at addison ray while she's singing and dancing and being like oh my god i think i'm in love oh dude i and i was about to defend him i was about to say something nice about him but now i can't i i really can't you cannot possibly find that attractive. Let's actually talk about that relationship between Addy and Escape Boy. So I don't understand at what point they clicked, they connected, they started having um, feelings over each other because Addy's character is very self-absorbed and self-centered and whatever. So. At no point did I felt her, you know, actually trying to get to know him. Yes, she was in a bed and she only needed to do a makeover on him so she can win the bed. But at no point did I felt her like, oh, oh so he's so actually he's great. great. Oh my, oh God, my God, God, I'm actually, I'm actually starting, starting to, to catch feelings about him. About him. Like, I never saw her like that. And also him, he was pretty much annoyed by her the entire movie until that 
until she started singing Katy Perry. And that's when he started having like feelings towards her and treated her a little bit differently. But it still doesn't exactly make sense to me. Like at what point did they click? Because I feel like I missed out something. Also the movie is on number one this week, which people are like so surprised. And I'm just like, why are you surprised? Like we're hate watching. We're all watching the movie to see how bad Addison is in it. It's like Riverdale, people watch it because they want to know how bad it is and because people like to watch trash. That's why we got the three fucking movies of the kissing booth in the fucking first place because we're all hate watching. So don't pretend that you don't know why it's number one. Like we did it, we're doing it to it. Like I'm part of it, like by talking about the movie because I only watched the movie to make this video. So I'm going to leave my video right here. I want to repeat myself, Addison, like, I have nothing against her, I don't like her, but I also not, not like her, like, I just don't care. I don't like the amount of hate that she received for basically breathing, like, it's just stupid and unnecessary and undeserving, but that's it. The movie's bad. She's not a great actress. I hope she gets better if she wants to continue to have a career in acting. Yeah, I really don't like this hair salon me. I'm gonna need TikTok girls to give me their secret because this is not good. See you guys and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.